It's called B117, more commonly known as the UK variant because it was first detected in Great Britain. Some sobering news on that today from UC San Diego infectious disease modeler Natasha Martin. Although the prevalence of the B117 variant is estimated to be relatively low currently in San Diego at 5%, again, because of this increased transmissibility, we anticipate that it will become the dominant strain within a matter of weeks. Martin says that could be a big problem because the B117 variant is estimated to be 50 to 70 percent more transmissible than the current strain of COVID-19 that's dominant in the county. Martin says even though it's still critical we all wear masks outside of our homes, the increased transmissibility of the B117 variant means masks are less effective in preventing infection. So why would the state lift the stay-at-home order at the same time the new variant is spreading? Martin says they're relying on data showing cases and hospitalizations declining. But she says that doesn't take into account the bigger picture. Those projections will need to be revised as we see emergence of variants and potentially increased uh, transmission as a result of them. Increasing vaccinations will help. But Martin cautions that just vaccinating more people won't get us out of the woods. We will still likely see cases at least returning to where they are now or potentially higher than we're currently seeing them. And so we need a combination of a robust vaccination program as well as strict adherence to masking and social distancing orders in order to reduce transmission. At this point, you might be asking yourself if our current vaccines will be effective against the B117 and other variants. Good news on that front from Dr. Anthony Fauci. In Washington today, Fauci said preliminary research shows the vaccines available now are effective. But he also said federal health agencies are preparing for the possibility of them losing effectiveness. If that happens, Dr. Fauci says he has high confidence that drug companies could quickly change the vaccine formulas. John Carroll, KPBS News.